the life of a teenage Christian. When it comes to you, I'm speechless. It's hard to find the right words, but I'll try, because I have to beat this writer's block regardless. Why on earth do you love somebody like me? Better yet, how on earth can you love someone like me? When on countless occasions your heart I've broken with the thoughtless words I've spoken. When I mercilessly brought tears to your eyes with my recurrent lies. When I blissfully wallowed in sin, relaxed and chilled in mediocrity. When the gospel for me changed from G-O-D to my playlist, Beyonce, Jay-Z. Jig Jigger, go figure. Matter of fact, go fetch. Cause I so eagerly believed the lies they fed me. Probably because they were more comfy than heaven, hell, and divine destiny. When instead of searching the scriptures daily, I chose to satisfy my senses immorally. When the time I set aside for praying, I used up unnecessarily. When instead of perfecting what was on the inside by studying your laws, I focused more on dressing up the outside in Nike, Burberry, Michael Kors. My mind wasn't on eternity. Nah, so, so vanity. But now here I am trying to fess up because I know I've messed up. So in a mad attempt to make amends, I ran right into a dead end. You see, I thought I could do it on my own, but I ended up making myself vulnerable. Then friends and even family turned their backs and I felt like I was under some form of attack because it all happened so fast. But who's to blame when I chose to trust everyone else instead of you? So they abused and tried to undermine. But hey, what do you expect when you cast your pearls before swine? Don't get it twisted. I wasn't always the victim. I've done my own share of betraying, trying to fit in. But through all the mess, he, he somehow saw beauty in me, so that when the law thought it had me finally, Grace said, uh-uh, I'm not through with her yet. So yeah, that's how me and Jesus met. He ever so readily stooped as low as to grab me from the cesspool of sin, filthy. He washed me and gave me his nature, holy. So now at last I am free. So excuse me when I fall on my knees, regardless of your opinions of me. Tears running down my face, hands raised in praise to he who died in my place. Matter of fact, pardon me while I say, Lord, I'm thankful and I'm forever grateful and I pledge to stay faithful because he touched me. Oh, he touched me and oh, Joy floods my soul. Something happened, and now I know he touched me and made me whole. Cause I recognize, yeah, that I shouldn't have even qualified to stand here, Christ sanctified. But you see, Jesus, he said, I'll pay the price. Then he died. So I'm the reason he was crucified. Thank you, Father, for all you've done. For you, your spirit, and your son. The life of a teenage Christian. <laughs>